Hello friends from Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's September. Yesterday was the first day of fall and we have so much to do before spring when we put our house up for sale and get ready to move to Mexico. We've moved three times in the last five years to Australia and then from Australia back to Tulsa and that was two years ago and from a rent house back to this house when our renters moved out and that was about one year ago. So we know it's backbreaking work. And we aren't as young as we used to be and although we are healthy, we do have our physical limitations. I have a bad leg and Dan has his aches and pains too. So we know that moving to Mexico is going to tax us physically. We have to get this house ready to sell and then sell it. We have to get rid of loads of stuff. We have to pack what we will eventually take down. And no, we aren't going to come down with just two suitcases. We like our stuff too much. Then we have to leave our home here forever, pack up our dog, and drive from Oklahoma to Merida. We hope to be down there no later than July 4th, 2018. So how do we prepare? For one thing, eating right. For us, that's low carb because I have high blood sugar and don't like to take meds. And I'm working on a recipe book that includes low carb, not no carb, but low carb corn tortillas. You can check out our video channel for a few of my low carb recipe ideas. I will be adding more soon. Getting our bicycles fixed and getting out on them for exercise is another step of this process. We have Electra Townie bikes. We bought them about six years ago and used them quite a bit before we moved to Australia. They are extra safe and made to ride around town. They have an upright seating position that lets you see the world better and plant your feet flat on the ground whenever you want. Just perfect for us old timers. We took them to Australia but never rode them there because we lived uh, on a hill and everywhere around us had extreme hills. We can't wait to bring them to the flat museum. In the meantime, we are using them to get healthy for the move. Recently, we decided to get them in shape so we could get in shape. Here's our project for today. We bought these bikes oh, many years ago. We took them to Australia. Never used them over there because we lived on top of a hill that would have killed us if we tried to even drive down our driveway. And then I broke my hip over there. And so we never used them there. And we haven't used them since we've been back. We've been back almost two years. Part of our uh, plan of moving to Mexico is to get healthy. And we are doing some walking. We are doing some, um, we're going to be doing some biking. And we're trying to eat healthy. And that's one reason that I'm doing this. Uh, you know, doing all, the, all of these recipes, low-carb recipes. Okay, uh, here we are in Tulsa, uh, in our garage. It's very dirty, but uh, we're getting our bicycles out uh, as a part of a plan to get uh, in better shape for our, our journey to Mexico. Uh, we bought these bicycles in the fall of 2011 and uh, we used them quite a bit for a couple of years. Um, and uh, unfortunately Susan had an accident on one and uh, we stopped using them for a while and then uh, we went to Australia and uh, we shipped them over there and uh, intended to use them there certainly uh, but uh, the place where we lived which was Chapel Hill uh, was a very 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 hilly and mountainous uh, area outside of Brisbane and uh, as a result, uh, many of the slopes uh, and hills were like 45 degree hills. Uh, almost impossible to walk up, let alone ride a bicycle up. We were not in good enough shape to take on that. And so our bicycles basically stayed in the garage for a couple of years, even in Australia. So we came back from Australia, shipped the bicycles back, and uh, they're low mileage. Uh, Bikes. We're going to get them uh, cleaned up today and take them to a shop to have them uh, gone through to make sure they're safe and in top condition. We don't want to have any accidents uh, or problems, 
So we want to have some experts to know what they're doing, work on the brakes and make sure the chains and everything are in good shape. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, uh, a little bit of work, but it's a pleasant morning. So we left the bikes at the Spoke House, which is a bicycle place very near our house. And they're going to give them a go over for $70 a piece. And they'll be done a week from Tuesday. Uh, we're driving down to the bicycle shop here in Tulsa to pick up our bicycles. Haven't been on them for a few years, unfortunately, and uh, we need to have them tuned up a bit. Uh, make sure they're safe and ready for uh, a couple of senior citizens here to ride on them. And yeah, and I haven't been on a bike, well, except at the physical therapist since I broke my hip and I've had two surgeries, but I think it's going to be a lot easier than walking for me. And uh, they have to uh, they have to adjust them to get exactly right for us. So anyway, here we go. We're going to ride him back home too. So here we are. We just, uh, we're, we're riding home and then we're going to take the car back. And there's a, the bike shop is almost at the end of a trail, not far from our house. So how was your first ride in many years, my dear? Uh, very, very smooth, very flat, very easy. Uh, very, very easy bikes to ride. These are Electra Counties, three speed counties. We bought them in the fall of 2011. Uh, I guess that makes them about uh, six years old or so. But they haven't been ridden much. <laughs> uh, they're kind of low mileage bikes, I guess. But uh, uh, they're very good bikes. Uh, they're all aluminum frame welded up. Uh, they are very easy riding bikes. Uh, go very smoothly. Um, and uh, with three speeds, you know, it's not for racing, but uh, it's for folks, uh, I guess, like me who want to an easier ride, a more fun ride, maybe a ride that uh, uh, we can survive. <laughs> you can still do after a couple of cocktails, maybe. And, uh, <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> and, uh, or maybe not. I must say, this is much easier than walking. My leg really hurts today. I've had two surgeries since I've been on a bicycle, but <laughs> this hurts a lot less than walking. And, uh, but I want to go really slowly until I, because I have a very weak leg and I, and, until I have, you know, I feel very confident about this and because I have had a bike accident before and, uh, I want to be, uh, get my confidence and my skills back up, my balance back, because it's been a while since I've been on a bicycle, but I'm liking it so far. So here we go through our neighborhood. <laughs> we were near Swan Lake in Tulsa. Which is a very, very cool place. I'll show you some pictures of that in a minute. But we are going to breakfast. We decided we wanted a Mexican breakfast. And we're going to bike down to Mi Casino. And we've gone through the neighborhood. And uh, then we're going to come back by the trail. So it's going to be really fun. So we're giving our bikes a workout this morning. And ourselves. If you're going to have breakfast with carbs, at least you can exercise before and after. We had huevos a la M. Mm. So we had a great bike ride and a wonderful breakfast this Sunday morning in Tulsa. Now it's time to go home and get some work done. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We are planning some more fun adventures as we prepare for Mexico. It's all part of the plan.